Hey, it's Steve from the Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. I'm over here with George. George is in his car. We're down and done. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're helping out trying to find this missing young lady. She was missing for seven days. I'm going to post all this information for you. So we're going to continue to do that. We're not having a hell of a lot of luck. Uh, we're, we're passing out flyers and we've been checking abandoned buildings and marking them with uh, green tape. Doing the best we can to see what we can uh, help out here, taking advantage of the fact that we've got this uh, thermal scopes, parabolic dishes, things that most people are not going to have to go looking for somebody. And that's George behind me. You'll see him in the vehicle. We're heading back out to 95 now. We're looking for the uh, family. I'm trying to figure out how the hell to get out of this parking lot. We just stopped to get a bite to eat went to uh, Highway 55 just to get some food in us. But, uh, yeah, so it's kind of crazy trying to take advantage of the fact that we uh, have the ability to do these things. So I reached out to uh, George and a couple of the other guys to see who was available. Uh, then we went to the family's house, and the scary part is there seemed like no flyers out. So that kind of bothers me. So if someone sees this young lady, they're not even going to realize what's going on. me I'm getting out of this parking lot heading to 95 hit 95 north uh, we talked to the family the uh, mother and the father briefly uh, they haven't called me back they're out looking in another area with a possible witness might have sort I'm getting a lot of these calls where people think they've seen her and uh, we don't know if that's actual any of this information is actually good or what but that's kind of what they're leaning on so I asked him, do you want us to come with you? So instead he said, well, let me find out. I'll call you back and we haven't got a call yet. So we're still in limbo on that. So we're just kind of doing our own thing. And at this point, don't mind me, I'm getting under 95 here. We're living in the town of Dunn. We're on the uh, east end of the main drag here. Just getting back on the 95. We're gonna head up north now, try, which is where they are. And see if we can hook up with them they need help or hopefully maybe it's good news that he hasn't called that they found her or something but uh, that's kind of where we're at this is the young lady I apologize these are really terrible copies I will post some other stuff on if the uh, thing but you know we try to do our best since we are out doing research and kind of tracking and stuff we figured we could use our abilities and a little bit of clout we have to uh, help this family out I think I lost George in the process of <laughs> going through all these little turnarounds here. But, uh, so I just want to shoot a video, let you guys know, try to get the word out there. Uh, I'll give you a little more information. I'll probably shoot another video later, but I just want to get something. I thought we'd be hiking out in the woods with a large group of people, marking out areas, sort of doing a grid pattern. That's not what happened. Uh, we're kind of just wandering around. You can see his rooms to go on 95, this big warehouse. So Dunn's just below that. They found her bike literally on the side of the road at 95, which was really kind of freaked me out. I'm like, yeah, we're all dads. Imagine your daughter takes off and they find her bicycle on I-95. So just, we don't know what happened. Apparently she's run away before, uh, apparently cut her hair. So I mean, we still don't know the full story. We're just trying to help here. Uh, if we have to come back out again, we'll do it again. But we're, 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 while we're here, we're trying to be as useful as possible. So. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Get the word out. I'm going to post a flyer in this link, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.